Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match review. This is for the Melbourne Derby between the Stars and the Renegades and it's going to be the game at the MCG. The last game was a decent one except for the fact that we were stolen off a few jewels. So, <laughs> or a few jewels, whatever you want to call it, pun intended. But yes, yeah. over here to call another game and we have Nikhil Vai with us today to give you some insights on what he feels of what's going to happen at the MCG. And along with, while you know which batsmen to leave, which bowlers you can leave with the plethora of uh, amazing batting options out there. Yes, Bilkul. Thank you so much, firstly, for having me. Always a pleasure. Uh, again, I think, slowly, we are able to see that the form we are not doing that is slightly working out. I am not going to say that it is going to be great, Tita. Because Dasi Shad should have opened, but Jewel did. Or again, it is not something that's going to be in your control. Uh, he redeemed himself him. for the drop catch. No, I still don't think he did because <laughs> five Mashrav ka wicket lena. So five Mashrav was my grand league thing. He would it could have been a different ball game. Because the ball move bhi ho raha tha So shayad din ko bhi aap jaldi out kar paate. I'm not saying hota. But again, that's what it is. So which is why I think just some managers say. They say that because these risks are there. These calls are not taken pre-hand. They are done later or whenever they are, we don't know about them. So, that's why we say that if something comes, better rather than something hmm. goes. So, yeah, that is the logic for BBL as of now. So, let's continue to make a good, decent combination. Because it is a combination that has saved us far more than a few picks, I think. Yes, absolutely. No point of disagreement there. And now let's head over to what we have in terms of the venue conditions. So the game's going to be played at the MCG and we saw the World Cup. There was good pace and bounce on offer at this ground. And do you see anything different happening at this venue across these games, Nikhil Bhai? Or again, it would be that 160 sort of pitch with pace and bounce prospering. Yeah, I think I'm expecting more of the same. I think that in the VBL and World Cup, we've seen that batters go to some venues. In all places, you've had good bowling step up. The catching has been terrible, but there's nothing to do with it. Literally, there's nothing to do with it. So, that is something beyond our control. Uh, interestingly, the last few matches that I see between these sides, all sides have chased the chase that and hmm. they've all been six wickets, five wickets, five wickets, six wickets, seven wickets. So, again, most of them have been at this venue. Again, Melbourne is Melbourne. So, hmm. maybe there is a sign there. If I see wicket distribution, then the runs are not made every time. It's been hmm. like 126 ones, 122 ones, uh, 158 the other time, which Nick Clark had scored. But that was also changed. And uh, the next score is 150. And the next one is also 168. So that is the only high score, but that was also changed up. So you can see... Sounds like some happy hearing. <laughs> so that is... Now it's like that whatever the pellet is scoring, it's changed. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. So it depends on the pitch. But I think generally, like we talked about, 150 to 170 should be the average score that we see. And wickets have fallen. Now who takes it? That only... Uh, so who knows? I don't know, but uh, let's see. Yes, and like Nikhil Bhai said, for most of the middle order, it's kal ho ya kal na ho. <laughs> for most of the middle order, with the way both these teams bat the, and their batting is stacked up, so let's see how we yeah. can form the best base team for it. So this is what we have. First up in the keeping section, we have gone with Joe Clark. And Joe Clark will not have it easy with Akil and Mujib in front mm -hmm. of him. But then nor will Harper against Bolt and Luke Wood. So we have just gone with the form choice there. And in mm -hmm. the batting, we have gone with Aaron Finch and Hilton Cartwright. Again, we have opted for the form option. Especially Finch, if he bats first, he'll take his time. And he'll be able to give you good fantasy value. Apart from that, Wells looked good in the last game. Thomas Fraser Rogers is... Uh, <laughs> is ruled out mostly like from what i heard on commentary mm -hmm. in the last game he did for have a bad fall at the boundary mm -hmm. so while he's mentioned in the squad and they will have to assess him on the morning of the game i don't know if they'll take that chance nick larkin 
like Nikhil Bhai mentioned, someone you can try based on uh, past history against this team. Campbell Callaway is still in development, batting very low, so you can happily skip. And the last choice is someone I'll not discuss anything about. Nikhil Bhai, any mm-hmm. other thoughts on any of these players? No, I think uh, Sean Marsh is the only one left, maybe. So that is the yeah, one. He's also, uh, yeah, he was rested, but should come back. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully if he's back again, I think they can easily open, but I think we've already heard who will open for them. So that is not a uh, option there. Again, hmm. experienced guy, he's got some scores. Now he's somebody who ek baar score karte to score karte jate. So if you think that the chase is going to come in the chase, like Melbourne's batting, so he should be able to get you a decent score from there. But again, batters and renegades, that is two very, very difficult combinations for me to think about. So let's see how that goes for him. I, I'd rather say batters and Melbourne because we have dis- there are two teams that, whose yeah. batting we have discussed at length across previews the Stars and Renegades and now both mm. of the gladiators are coming together. So it will be interesting <laughs> to see how it goes. In the yeah. all-rounders, we have gone with Will Sutherland. Nick Madison is ruled out, which means that yeah. if Will Sutherland is the fifth bowler, they probably have no choice yes. but to bowl full quota from him unless you feel Finch will turn his arm over. Bow Webster mm. bowled off spin and medium pace in the last game. So you cannot rule that out again. He's going to be up against Sean Marsh. So maybe he'll use some off spin there. And Marcus mm-hmm. Toynis, who after announcing his form back in the last game, is a top captaincy choice too. In the bowling, Kane Richardson, Trent Bold, pace and bounce, like we said, would be the key. And Thomas Rogers, hence, is that pick. Adam Zampa has done well at this venue for across BBLs and Akil Osen yeah. based on form. Nikhil Bhai, what are your thoughts about Mujib and Luke Wood? Because most of the five that we've picked would be in most people's teams except for maybe Thomas. It's a slight differential. But how do you feel are Mujib and Luke Wood's chances and in what situation or scenario would you consider picking them? Yeah, I think it is uh, straight up to do with how we feel Webster might contribute and Sutherland. I think those mm-hmm. two picks are... They are someone who on their good day, they'll give you a 30-40 and they'll also pick up a wicket somehow. Which is hmm. very uh, Sutherland has done that right through his bowl well as well. So, if you are bowling karte hai, uh, renegades, then you feel that Sutherland is the fifth bowler hai, because he is also bowling the, the crucial overs. So, he is more hmm. likely to pick wickets. So, maybe that's where you can rotate out uh, between Webster, Sutherland, and the two options that we discussed uh, in Mujib and also Luke Now, Luke again, while bowling first, is a much better potent option because hmm. they have to go after him. Which is not always the case in a chase. Uh, Trent Bull, surprising, I sometimes find him better bowler in the second innings because he's able to mm. extract that new ball, uh, the, whatever little new ball that moment that is there. And last game, Luke would bowl after the six overs. So mm. that is the visualization that you have to do. You have to do it. 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 But you have to do it. अगर उन्हें सही टाइम पे बोलिंग कराई जाए तो ही कैन बी वेरी हैंडी एज वेल उनकी अब तक मुझे लगता है ही इज बीन ऑन एंड ऑफ बट ही इज स्टिल नॉट एज वेल एज द नंबर्स वुड सजेस्ट सो आई थिंक देयर आर इनफ रोटेशंस फॉर यू टू डू एंड लाइक विद मुजीब इज मोस्टली प्लेड आउट टू हिज बोलिंग फर्स्ट बट नॉट वाइल बोलिंग सेकंड एट टाइम्स बट बोलिंग फर्स्ट में अभी उनके पास एंड ओवर्स के लिए काफी बोलर्स हैं नहीं तो वो मुजीब से भी एंड ओवर करा लेंगे तो देन तो देयर इज नथिंग टू डिस्कस so basically the fixes from you from these guys are Zampa, Bolt and Akil and you'll probably yeah. rotate between Rogers and Richardson with uh, the all-rounders for uh, Mujib and uh, Lukewood. Yeah, I'll probably still keep Rogers, maybe, maybe, maybe in both the innings. The hmm. rotation might purely come between Kane, Sutherland and Webster if at all, if, if I go on and make multiple combinations. Right, fair call. So, this is what our team stacks up like for now. And uh, captain and vice captain are Marcus Toynis and Akil Hussain. Again, purely based on form. And my game type for this game is small leagues and mini GLs. Uh, and uh, not a, I don't know if it's a surprise or not a surprise, but I'm quite confident the way we have left the batting across games. I think that, again, like Nikhil Bhai said, based on a few scenarios, we can tinker mm-hmm. with those few bowlers and be able to have the best bowlers based on the scenario and the team, which I feel will make it less risky, first point. And second point I feel is that many people will still stack up three or four batters 
which can work in our favor because i am not saying that these teams will not score 150 160 mm-hmm. all i'm saying is that it's very uncertain which are those three or four batters that will click but i know yeah. that the bowlers that i'm going to pick most of them are going to come and bowl full four overs because with yeah. nick madison not there that improves will sutherland's chances with with webster bowling in a very scenario based chance toynes as captain becomes a good choice so hence yeah. i feel keeping all those things in mind and seeing zampa's form maybe he's a first innings drop so keeping all those points mm-hmm. in mind i think we have enough scenario based drops to make a good small league team especially if you're playing on fan to play and are able to go with just two batters so hence small league and mini gls for this one bilkul first confident preview for a small league game from evil i am very keen to see how this one goes <laughs> yes can, a very good chance that it backfires too but i think it's important <laughs> for us to back how we feel in terms exactly. of visualization so yes hence going with it and this level medium i'd say and why so because the practical guys if you see we've only discussed two mm. other guys from apart from mm. the ones who are not in this team that is that is luke wood and mujibur rahman we have not really discussed mm. any other player in intensity mm. because we don't expect them to play front role obviously there will be days where josh brown and nathan <laughs> mcsing both will click together but that's not something you can do anything about but that will happen yeah. one out of 10 times so you don't have to yeah. bother too much as far as that is concerned So yes, that is the roundup as far as our base team and game type is concerned. Now let's look at Grand League options. So who are your Grand League options for this game, sir? Uh, just to be very very specific, I will be going with Melbourne K Rogers, not Stars Halle Rogers. <laughs> the guy who bowls who's taken a lot of wickets earlier in the tournament i feel this is a very good venue for him to come off face hmm. had a few games where i think he's bowled fine but maybe not hasn't got the reward that he should so uh, again main ye nahi keh raha hu ki ye differential pick hai uh, in terms of captain but kafi kam logon ne liya because of the last few games uh, siddal bhi wicket le rahe abhi uh, rashid khan ne bhi ek wicket liya uske hmm. bowling pe catch drop bhi ho gaye so maybe normal she's starting to return a bit maybe But again, with Bebel, I don't trust enough. So Rogers from Melbourne Renegades, the guy who bowls. Uh, so just to be very specific, and from stars, I think Adam Zampa will start to come good now. Uh, once you have the backing and the form of Stoinis, Cartwright, Larkin working as a unit, if they get enough scores up top, then I think stars' ka bowling unit is good enough to survive with Bolt and Wood. Uh, at at the at the either end in Zampa in the middle taking a lot of wickets. So and because this team is somewhere else, he has who in two teams, he will give four wickets. So there are two teams. So one captain will be able to make it in Zampa. Yes, absolutely. Zampa, I am backing him too. 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 with a good square game and i think he'll come in by the time the spinners have exhausted more of their overs because we see at least one of their spinners come and bowl at least two three overs through the power play mm. which means that he'll be able to rotate off that side and then be able to play the pace well because there's no mm. real threat in terms of the pace match up for him will sutherland will be down as ali kane richardson will come in much later and he won't be forced to attack him especially if he bats first And same for Th- Thomas Rogers. So I think it might be a good game for him. Maybe you see that 120, 130 strike rate knock. And uh, from the Renegades, if they bowl second, then Mujibur Rahman. And uh, if they, you know, the other pick, but I'll not take his name. <laughs> good Paji. Hopefully he'll come up some day or the other. <laughs> yeah, that's more. Uh, uh that's more uh, emotional connection sort of pick and now with bolt in front of him maybe bolt has some uh, pity and lets him hit a few so let's see yep. how that goes and we hope that all of you have a good game yep. and tell me in the comments today how many runs you yes. think martin captel will score in this game yes and have a good one all the good luck to you cheers guys keep trying let's keep winning <laughs>